Hey there, boys and girls. My name is Mike Kelly from AnimatorsForum.com, and I'm going. I'm working on making my walk assist script so that it automates some of this process for you. But uh, in the meantime, I thought I would show you how it's, it's actually very easy to do a walk cycle yourself. And somebody on our forum was asking about it, so I want to show you that you really only need about three keyframes to generate a fairly convincing walk cycle, and then. You can do whatever you want in between. I'm going to show you both the the um, a walk, an actual walk, progressing walk, and then uh, we'll do a walk in place too. Real quick, okay, so this is my rig, and if you've seen any of my other um, videos, you know how this is set up. So this is parented. So the target bones are parented to the root bone. But in order to do a walk cycle, an easy walk cycle, what we want to do, let me, let me move here first to a frame 30 or something. I'm going to line this up on this uh, kind of this camera. Um, guide so that I can see my walk cycle progress. I'm not I'm not a great animator, by the way. <laughs> you should figure, you'll figure that out shortly. So the first thing, in order to do a walk cycle easily, use these target bones for the feet, and you'll find that it's a very, very easy process. So I'm going to unparent it. So I'm unparented. My targets are down here. Once again, that's explained in my other videos about my parent and unparented target. Basically, it means that I can move the root around and the, and the parent bones uh, the parent bone moves the rig, but the targets hold the feet in place, and that's really good. So that way you can get a convincing walk cycle. So anyway, so there's really only two frames you need to make. You need to make the, uh, and I'll show you. We'll put it up here. We'll bend him down like this. It'll be a very deep walk. You want, uh, this is kind of a, a groovy walk. Uh, you want his uh, one of his legs. It doesn't matter which. You can. We'll do it upstage leg to be stretched out to have that first plant, and then the, the second leg is planted here. Okay. Now for these particular uh, walk cycle, I really need only need keys on these three bones, uh, the root bone and the two target bones. You can do arms and motions and bend roots and all kinds of stuff. But I just want to show you the basic walk. So just those three keys. So that now I'm going to move somewhere forward to where the end of that first step would be. And for that process, I just want to move the root and, and then I'm going to move this other leg out. So once again, what I want to end up with is a very similar position where the back leg now, or the secondary leg, is stretched out, uh, touching the ground. And then this leg is, is bent here. And that's really all I need is just that sort of process. So, so now I've got keys on all these. You can see if I just left it like that, it's kind of a uh, kind of a cool slide. But the other thing you need then is this passing position. And so for the passing position, what I want to do is this is the plant leg. So I want the the passing position to simply I raise up the root until the plant leg straightens all the way up because that's the the actual step up and then the, the the trailing leg which is coming through can be adjusted to move anywhere you want it to be so uh, if you'll notice and then that makes that trailing leg move forward and then he steps once again this is a very deep stride i'm making for the purposes of illustrations you can see just how very deep this guy's this guy's moving and so as you can see that's that's a convincing step and then the only other thing we need to do is just mirror that on the other side that's where my script will come in handy because uh, if, if I think if you can see that once you've done this, the positions really just need to be reversed, and it would be nice if my walk assist script could actually mirror this properly. I'm having some issues with, well, just programming issues. Uh, I'm such an old man. So uh, in any case, so what I would do is I would come out here to somewhere, and then I'm going to make that uh, that other last step position. So for this particular one, I have to move the leg way out here, and then again. And, you know, if I was doing this, if I was trying to make it real, I would try to actually, uh, you know, watch this, this, first, uh, this first step to see how deep that stride was and copy that frame. But since my script is going to do that for me eventually, I'm not really going to worry about it right now. Uh, I, I will get there, but for right now, I'm not going to worry about it. So, I, and again, now what we're going to do in the middle is have that plant leg position raise us up. So it's going to raise up and raise that plant leg all the way up which is the plant leg right there. So it's not all the way up. So we want to raise it all the way up. And we lean forward a little bit like that. And then the, the trailing leg that comes through, then I want to take it and give it some sort of, um, um, you know, an upward slant up here as he brings his leg through. So that's, that's really all he does. And so there's, 
there's the walk cycle. And, and this is actually a, a fairly, as my cat will tell you, this, 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 this I mean, it's a silly looking walk. It's the Ministry of Silly Walks. John Cleese is doing this walk. But you can see how quickly we can set that up. And the feet aren't slipping because we're using target bones. So they're per permanently planted to the ground on there. So there's no problem with slippage. And for other adjustments, you're gonna, you might want to adjust as his foot bends forward. You might want to adjust the, you know, the ankle bend and things. But you can do all those adjustments once you've got your basic walk set up okay so that's just walking on as you're progressing now we're going to i'm going to show you how to do a walk in place uh walk in place is actually even easier even easier and so once again i want to make sure i'm unparented so right now i'm parented as you can see it says parented up here and so if i go to uh here i'm going to unparent so now i'm in an unparented position and in this position um i'll go to 90 just to make it even I'm going to, again, make that very first frame. That's all you want to do is just make that one key uh, position to where the legs spread out and this is forward. And I want to make sure that I have keys on all three of those bones that are going to maintain that uh, position for me. And then I'm going to go to the, uh, you know, somewhere at the end of what that first step would be. Now, in this particular case, I don't want the root to move. I simply want to move the bones so they kind of swap positions so one comes this way and one comes that way so this one is going to kind of bend like this way and this one's going to kind of come that way and so that's you know kind of like zhoo, 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 zhoo. I can, be, can be sitting down and doing that and then the only other thing i need to do in the middle is do again raise the root up to where the bone the the plant foot bone which is in this particular case this bone here so that plant foot bone is extended all the way up. So as you can see, it's still bent there. So I want to I want to extend it to where it's all the way up, like that, just by pulling that root up. So I've got that that plant foot bone all the way down, and then the the passing foot, as we would call it, you bring up like that. So like that. And so if if I've set keys appropriately on all the bones, I don't know that I did. I didn't send a key there, so I got to send a key there just to make sure. Uh, and if I set keys for every bone, there's a key there. I'm not sure why that key's a little higher there. Oh, I know why, because we don't have a key. We don't. We didn't set a key for him coming down. That's my fault. Sorry. Sorry. Okay, there we go. So set a key down and. There's his walk in place. And um, so we can see it by you know setting the playback um, frame to that. And again, this, you know, you can do all sorts of adjustments and have him leaning in forward, and, but there's, there's really not a whole lot to it. And obviously a walk in place, you don't need to make all the other frames because his legs are, are doing that. Actually, I do need to make those other frames. I'm sorry. I wonder why it looks so odd as it changed. Yes, it it, it, it it flips position so very quickly you don't see that. I'm sorry. Stupid me. You do have to make the other frames. Of course you do. Um, and I knew that. Uh, I'm so tired. Um, again, just swap the positions. Legs. Like that. No problem. And as long as I have a key on this down frame here. And then make a key up raise him up to where once again the plant leg so the plant leg is this this leg here so as that plant leg extends we want it to be all the way up come saw and then the the trailing leg we want to which is this leg we want to ah, boy, i can't even move this we want it to come through there all right, now we should have a complete walk. <laughs> oh, I wonder why that looked odd. Uh, yes, okay. Yeah, that's a little better. Okay. So anyway, that's uh, that's walking in place. I don't actually ever do walking in place, which is probably why I, I uh, don't I don't get it done very well. Um, but I think you can at least easily see that it's that it's pretty easy to uh, to adjust these things. And the reason it's kind of jumping back a little bit is because my my um, my root bone is not set properly um, that's um, that's the the big advantage to my copy script is it will copy those now you can go back to the root and actually copy that root position over there to make it perfectly 
but that's see, that's so much work to go in there and copy that you know that that into there i don't know anyway all right so hopefully this helps this shows you how to do a, a regular walk and a walk in place with just essentially those three keyframes that then you can go ahead and duplicate it out and my script will allow you to to just set up those three keyframes and then uh, do the rest for you if i ever get it working this old brain can do that all right take care kids we'll talk to you later